Hi, my name's Jonathan Hicks. I'm back at the Dice Cup, and this evening I'm joined by A Bomb, Steve, Mark, and we've just finished playing Stay Away, which is a social deduction game. Uh, you are dealt at the beginning a hand of cards, which you keep secret, uh, but one person is secretly dealt. Mark? <laughs> the thing card. So in this case, Mark will be the thing, and his objective is to try and infect the people on either side of him. When it's your turn, you draw a card from the deck here, and most of these cards are utility cards in various ways, and then you play one of the cards in your hand. So for example, I could play this card to look at hand of a player's adjacent card. So if I'm suspicious of Avon, for example, then I could look at his entire hand, and I could see, ah, he's not the thing. So I know he's safe, for the moment at least. Uh, but then I have to uh, pass a card, exchange a card with Mark, so I might decide to give him just one card at random because I'm not too bothered. But then when he gives me a card, he passes me... Oh, so <laughs> for illustrative purposes, we'll pretend he passes me an infected card, and that means I am now infected as well. The thing is the only person who can pass these infected cards, but if you get given one of these, you become infected. Now, I'm on Mark's team, and I have to sort of help him, but I can't pass on infected cards. Only the thing can actually infect people. So at this point, once he's infected Rob and me, his objective really is to try and move places. And there are some cards that will let you swap places with other players. So for example, this card here will let you swap um, places with the player of your choice. So Mark might sort of swap with Steve and then try and infect the other people around him. And the thing is trying to infect everyone. If the thing manages to infect everyone, he wins. However, there are a couple of flamethrower uh, cards in the deck. We've got a flamethrower. Oh, I've got one in front of me. Here we go. If I am not infected and I realize that Mark is the thing, then I can try and flamethrower him. And if we kill the thing, the thing then we win. Um, if he's not the thing, he's just out of the game when we sort of carry on. So, uh, it works like that. What do we think? Um, love the theme. Problems, the game's got two major problems, and both are really made worse by having a large number of players. The first one is player elimination. Someone playing throws you because they think you might be the thing, you're not. Well, go away and sit down somewhere for 20 minutes, half an hour, while everyone else plays the game most annoying. The other one is, there's lots of cards which move you and swap your places, because obviously for the thing to infect people, you have to keep on moving about. If you're unlucky and it keeps on swapping just before your go, or almost your go, you can literally spend 10 minutes just watching everyone else playing. Um, so yeah, those are two big problems with it. Okay, Steve? I like this sort of game in general, the hidden role, trying to kind of pick apart people's lives here. Um, so it's a game I'm going to quite like. The art's quite nice, and the way they do it is, is different to any other game. Um, you effectively start, the thing's goal, he doesn't have to try and kill everyone else, he's just trying to infect everyone else, that's quite nice. Uh, A-bomb's points are valid, uh, we've played this, I think seven, we've played with seven, I think seven's too many, five or six probably a bit better, um, but I have enjoyed most of the games I've played. Okay, Rob? Uh, what I like about this the most is that kind of the constant doubt. So all you need to do, even if you've revealed your hand to everyone, everybody knows you're not the thing, all you have to do is sit next to somebody who you think is the thing and swap cards once, and then that's it. You, you, Nobody's going to believe you again until you can reveal your hand again, which is hard to do. So it's very, yeah, I love it. Very good. Very good. Okay. Mark? Yeah, I think Abel hit the nail on the head with the negatives. I, I do quite like the slowness of the, you know, the creeping that if, if you're not doing something and it's going around, you know that slowly more and more players are generally being infected, which is, it is a different feeling to something like One Night on Werewolf, where people are either bad or good. It's it's more more doubt and like evil involved. But yeah, there are the negatives. Maybe if you didn't swap the it, like the position of who plays next might work better or something because it's right there's times people just don't take the go for quite a while which is not really fair yeah. rating uh, I'd give it a six and a half okay yeah. Rob I give it a six but my six is higher than his no, six and a half <laughs> <laughs> yeah I give it a six and a half and mine's in between there <laughs> okay hey Rob mine if there's four players it's six and when it goes down as you get more players with seven players it's a three okay work out the rest <laughs> yes um, I think they summarised it very well. Um, I do like the social deduction, deduction aspect of it, and it does feel very different from other social deduction games. As they say, when you start passing cards, you're never quite sure. Even if you've seen someone's definitely okay, a couple of turns later, it's like, oh, I don't know anymore. And that works really well, but it's just too slow for me. You know, in terms of the number of turns you're actually taking and how long the game takes in total, um, I, it's, it's just too much. So I think I'd be on a five and a half, but I think if you don't care too much about the strategy and you just want to a bit of fun. I think it does its job well. All right, thanks for watching. That was Stay Away.